We're at the world leading research facilities at the Australian Institute of Sport in Canberra. Experts specializing in various fields of sport are constantly advancing and developing their knowledge at the AIS. Results from their research directly informs the country's elite athletes, with an understanding that even the smallest advantage can increase an athlete's chances in competition. Biomechanics is essentially the study of human movement, so how a human moves, so engineering of the body, um, and, and it's based around how can we make them better performers or also reduce the injuries they get. Well, I think once we get here and we start working with elite athletes, we're looking at the elite population and we're trying to look at little differences. So if we can get 1% gains or we can get someone not to get injured, you know, that's the difference between you know, not making an Olympic final, making an Olympic final or, or winning a medal. Knee injury is the focus of one current study, which uses developing technology to compare the effects of orthotics and stabilizing running shoes on an athlete's movement. This is one of the three biomechanics labs we have here at the AIS. So we have a 20 camera motion analysis system and we have eight force plates. The cameras allow us to, to basically measure movement through putting markers on them and then to a mathematical equation. And the force plates allow us to collect the force data. As the athlete hits the force plate, we get the force vector come, come up. So basically under the center of pressure, so underneath his foot, we will take the force and run through each of the joints to get what's known as the kinetics. So the turning forces and the powers at each joint. And, and our aim is to see how each condition alters the patellofemoral joint stress, which is really common in runners or jumpers experiencing um, anterior knee pain. Researchers at the Institute are also looking at helping athletes maximize their performance through the benefits of cutting edge nutrition practices. I would say that AIS is considered one of the best places in the world to be able to manipulate an athlete's diet and control everything so precisely that we can really attribute the physiology behind the performance gain. One study looks specifically at different techniques of carbohydrate loading and the difference that makes for athletes competing in endurance sports. Test subjects follow a strict carbohydrate diet before cycling a 120 kilometer bike ride designed to bring them to the brink of exhaustion. The idea of uh, the three hour effort um, or 120 k's which should take that time is to really start to deplete the glycogen stores, so their energy stores um, that fuels the aerobic exercise. Three, two, one, nice work. We're testing blood lactate just to get an idea of how much fuel is on board, how much lactic acid they're producing. We produce lactic acid as the end result of burning glycogen or glucose as a fuel and um, we're just sort of trying to work out over time how full that tank or how depleted the tank is getting. With their energy stores depleted, test subjects are monitored further. We're accounting for all the fluid that's going in. We're also accounting for it to go, going out. So we'll wipe, wipe down all the sweat, weigh him in, helmet on, and then we'll jump on the treadmill just to see how long he can go on the hill climb to exhaustion. The final demanding cycle on the treadmill is where gains or losses from the controlled diet are most evident. We're at speed, so tap in when you're ready. I've put in a nice high gear for you. It's nice and relaxed. Any energy still stored from the carbohydrate intake will improve endurance on this grueling cycle. Move, that's it. Move, bring it up now, up, up, up. The study that we're doing is double blinded. They don't know what dietary intervention they're given. I don't know as a researcher either, so that also then prevents me speaking to them or encouraging them in different ways, so not to influence their performance on each day. I don't know the performance outcomes of any of the trials and I, I won't look until the end of the study so that, that nothing should change their performance except for the dietary intervention that we've given them. All right, well done. The outcomes that we produce from this research project are being directly used on the Australian Olympic team athletes. So when we go to the athletes, we can go with great confidence to say, we've tested this <laughs> rigorously and that we can be confident that that's going to help you. Thank you. That's all right. <laughs> they always thank me, I don't understand why. Yeah.